Alrighty, everybody, welcome back. I hope you all who are watching, you know who you are. I don't know who you are. And I suppose that's alright. So, the game is Bionic Dews. I am very, 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 very new at it. Um, at this point, I've actually not even played much. I've played a single level. But uh, I, I can already tell this is going to be one of those games that hangs with me for a very long time, so here you go. Uh, it's a roguelike by Arson. well, a roguelite, I believe is the fashionable term for this new wave of roguelike games that aren't quite roguelikes. Uh, you know, Rogue Legacy, Bionic Dews, uh, Brain Failing, Don't Starve, um, etc. You know, games that are a bit easier than a ro true roguelike or have save states or save things allowed, but uh, have a hardcore mode for those who are interested in trying to play a classic rogue style. In any event, the game is Bionic Dudes. You play as the commander of four Exos, survivor after a massive war that wiped out much of uh, civil. I have, I'll just, I'll just let you guys listen to the introduction. And I'm just going to go with the default. The city's under attack by bot forces. Just launched a surprise bombing run against our main hangars. Destroyed all our exos save for the four you had with you on the training grounds. Oh no. You're practically still a trainee. But you're the last exo pilot we have. I guess the world's right. Our intel says you've got 50 days before the bots attack our headquarters in mass. Weaken them. Strengthen yourself before that time comes. And then be prepared to fight them off our doorstep. If you fail, and failure's likely, then our friendly corporate owners will invoke their amputation clause. In other words, they'll nuke the city to keep the bot rebellion from spreading. You know well as I do that evacuation is impossible. The other cities are just as full as this one, and even the shelters are overflowing with the needy. You've got 12 million lives in your hands, including mine and your own, so get to it. Alright, Himosabi. So here's the idea of the game, in a very brief nutshell. Again, haven't beaten the game, haven't played the game very much, played one level, long way to go. You are in a dystopian future, because, of course, why would the future be anything but? Uh, this is a list, and sorry, this is the giant city you're in. You start off at HQ, and then as you beat missions, you obviously get access to more missions. This city expands a very long way in every direction. I'm sure eventually you get to explore more of it. You have 50 days before before the final battle when all of the robots uh, that we see over here on the right will come and attack. Uh, that will be one final level where you have to fend off all of these guys at once, including such enemies as the dumb bot, the hide bot, the ninja bot, ammo bot, wyvern bot, tethys bot, claw bot, etc. And these are bosses apparently. Um, yeah. You can do things to speed up the final competition. Hang on a second, am I echoing? I think I'm echoing. Shouldn't be echoing, there's no reason to echo. Give me one moment to check to make sure I don't have a microphone something set up here. No, I'm not seeing anything. Ah well, no matter. In any event, uh... You have 50 days, you can complete missions, each one mission per day, uh, and you can attempt to do is, well, see the robot manufacturing right here is 30. Uh, you want to limit how many robots will be produced before the final confrontation, and that comes down to clearing out missions that reduce their manufacturing capability, uh, or reduce the level of robots that get manufactured. At the end of every mission, however, all these guys level up a little bit, a few more are added, and as a rule of thumb, the final fight becomes a little bit more tricky. You can also power up your four Exos, and find new loot to upgrade them with. The game is on. So let's take a look at my first options for missions. Bots capture this fat plant with some internal upgrades that work for XR Exos. We capture it back, we'll get twice as many parts as usual from mission. So eight parts, one for each surviving exit at the end. 
blockade. Blockades are generally very straightforward missions that do give you minimal loot and then unlock obviously whatever's behind it. Huh. Sometimes the only solution to problems to an extra arm blow up a really big field tank. All missions connected to this one will be destroyed if you win. So if I win this mission, at least two disappear altogether. And then I'm down to this one. So yeah, forget that. I think that going to the bottom left is just a bad idea in general. What am I really approaching it for? Quadruple, oh, quadruple the usual number of small loot, but it's filled with mines and trip wires, destroy energy wire. That sounds like a good early mission to get myself more powerful with. Uh, alternatively, I can clear this mission and then make for the factory. Factories reduce the overall power of all other bots. Uh, I think in order, I'm going to say get loot, clear mission, knock out a factory. So let's begin with the office building, please. Uh, you don't need to read this. So this is how the game plays out. Much like any or of you, any of you familiar with Roblox will instantly recognize this idea of of a turn-based game where you take an action and then all your enemies take an action. We have here uh, the overworld map and. Um, Clearly you can see the edges of my vision and the enemies in here. Ranged assault bot with questionable aim and an overexcited demeanor. Okay. And I'm still trying to get a sense for how uh, different bots act and react, so. There isn't really a to my that I've noticed a time limit of any kind. He's got range five, one, two, three, four, five. I've got range six. Systems You'll notice that it uses up ammo every time I take a shot. Uh, Eagle Bot has 195 health. This weapon deals 120 damage, this deals 180. If I can get him out in the open, I can take him down. So, let's whistle and just get all these guys to come in on me, that's fine. I should be able to knock them all down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 range with this, and 8 range with this. Make sure that I'm in good position. What? How is he alive? Oh, that was insufficient damage. Damn. You These guys I outrange. So ah! Take advantage of my range advantage. That's an ammo bot, so nothing really that terrifying. I don't even know if he has a gun, to be honest. But I assume he does. I die! Make 3 Explosion Booster. Not sure what it does, but I've got my first piece of loot. So yay! A lot of blockades here. Blowing up a blockade can be done just by shooting it and dealing adequate damage. Let's let's make them come in here. Hopefully they'll destroy some of these blockades for me. You're in range. <laughs> Grenade. Avenge me! And I didn't. I overestimated the range of the grenade explosion. I see. Coming down. Did all of them. That guy's got really good range, so we're just gonna soften or not soften. Uh, range. He's got good health, so we'll soften him up. Where am I going? He isn't regenerating health. But that's promising. Ammo bots behind. I'll be right back. You there we go. Okay, fuel tank small loot container. Fuel tank deals 2,000 damage, which is insufficient to kill the 10,000 health loot container. If I can hit that, I should be able to blow up most of the surrounding bots pretty easily. Here, take this. Okay. I, uh, I thought it would only take one shot. I die! Mercifully, I had enough shields to survive. This compass is defective! <laughs> no, not this way! Oh, I'm gonna come right at you. No, no, not I'm this way! No, not this way! What are you guys doing? It's a whistle. There we go. Where am I going? This guy's gonna die in one laser shot. It's all part of my plan. Let me just open up my loot container. I will be right back. It's all part of my plan. Now, you'll notice that I have four different exos at my disposal, each of which has their own type of arsenal and abilities. 
I have yet to play this game enough to know what is a good one and what is a bad one and what's a good setup. But what I do know is, if you lose one, uh, for, for the great you die. can't do without, which is a pretty big penalty. You also don't get Who put that there? That you might otherwise have gotten. But, uh, but you, you get him back at the start of the next mission, so it's not like a permanent loss. But let us... see if we can't call these guys out. You Switch him to the ninja. There's a lot of bots in this room, so... Game one stealth. Fifteen turns of stealth left. Down. Why was I programmed to feel pain? You okay, so you guys can come at me now, it's fine. You Those weren't nearly as terrifying as they looked when I didn't know what they were. Alright, new piece of loot. Definitely I'm glad I started with the loot building, because this feels like a lot of loot to get in one level. Uh now, what is the mission objective? Destroy the energy reactor. Yeah. Ooh, good music. I do like a lot of the music in this game, actually. Hmm. Level 1 mind. You should totally step on these. Oh, crap. Okay, you know what? We're gonna let this guy clear away from me. Where's the whistle? He is at me. One way or the other, some of these walls are going to get blown up. Probably he's going to do the work for me. But yeah, there you see. He just walked straight through the minefield for me. Systems offline. So it seems they can't move and fire on the same turn. I, I assumed they couldn't, but I'm glad to see that paid off. Ooh, hang on a moment. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let us continue. Door, open it, God knows what's behind. Holy crap, okay, so clearly doors in this game are this as important as in crawl. In the sense that, use your door right and you engage well, use your door badly and you don't. I wish I could drop a mine here or something for him to hit. Ouch. Not that it matters. I wonder if the bot strength becomes a lot stronger. Make three satiated nano barrel rifle. Nano rifle barrel. Okay. Off we go. That's a lot of them. So we're gonna use the same tactic of making them destroy all the walls for me. Again, they're clearly doing their job well. Ammo bot. Switch to the siege guy and use the rocket launcher just to see. Oh, that's a good explosion. Just clear them all out. Instead of using a lot of little ammo. Make one slave reactor. You know what? How much stealth do I have left? Oh, my ninja's out of stealth. Shit. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Stealth before opening the door. Oh, never mind. It requires hacking. Oh, little. Uh, stealth? Hack? Okay. Large loot container must be hacked open. New, uncommon, or better parts of the customer the interior. Don't forget to actually go into the exo customization screen and creatively customize. Here, anyway. stealth. Make two ameliorating power amplifier. Very well then. How are we doing overall for map vision? Is there an easy way to move the? Oh, okay. Arrow keys to pan around. So there's one area we haven't explored back here, otherwise we know the whole layout. So let's go and check out the unexplored area before we advance further. Again, like I said, I don't know of any time limit on this game that makes me that forces me to make these decisions quickly. Now it could just be that there's no need to be this cautious, but when you don't know what you're doing, it generally pays to be careful. Uh let's stealth or Oh, it's a false wall. Fine. Open the door the hard way. 
Okay. Oh, firing ends it. It's unless you're the, the ninja. That makes sense. Okay, I forgot to de stealth and stealth. Switch to the assault mech. I don't know what's in here. So far, so good. Stealth. Oh, this requires hack. Science access. Stealth. Hack. Make one hacker of infection. Not sure what that is, but if it infects other enemies, count me and color me interested. They weren't kidding about this having a lot of loot, man. This, this place is full of loot. Typically, I would I would expect one or two pieces of loot, maybe, and uh, the four pieces of loot for keeping all four of my exos alive. So, let's whistle. I wish I could figure out how to beat these guys. I I'm glad I don't have to though. Ah! At least not yet. Okay, invigorated dumbbot, ammo bot. What kind of range are we talking about here? Five and three? Excellent. So I can I, I actually outrange these guys. Okay, if he's dumb, maybe he'll walk straight into the mines. Yes, he is. He is just that dumb. Switch the siege exo. Rocket monster. Okay, move up, move up, down. Avenge me! I'm actually not sure how much bigger this level is. It's actually the kind of issue. Oh, I should have used the grenades for that closer cluster. Ouch! Just gonna see how best to preserve my stuff. Grenade launcher against him is a definite yes. How, how big is the range here? Because he's got a lot of health. Oh, please, guys, stay close together. Stay. Give me something to shoot. Oh, damn it, you're a dumb bot. Switch to the siege bots. Actually, rocket launchers do a thousand damage, so it might be overkill. I to get meant to do that. Yeah, just a one shot. That wasn't there a minute ago. And now he already hit something, so... Just a laser rifle, I guess? I meant to do that! Batbot... You know what, if Batbot is successfully nestled, I'll take the loot and run. I don't need to fight him. Okay, so what hasn't been explored? That area. Off we go. I'll have to blow one of these up myself. Ninja. Yep. Stealth. It's a good thing I stealthed. Take a pot shot and kill him. Wait, why is my stealth in red? Oh, okay. Showing that I can't reactivate the turn after I deactivate it. Impassable till blown to bits. Oh, never mind. It burns! Systems offline. No. How are we doing? There's an ammo bot in the corner. Computer has secrets. Reveals everything within 20 tiles or so. Excellent. Science exo. We have seven hacks left. Use one of them. Okay, so not much to see. Just a shield recharge station behind this this wall. And a long corridor here. Let's uh, continue down the corridor with my assault mech, please. You will take 50 damage on the mines, which is inadequate for a kill, but enough that you will defuse the mines. Systems offline. Okay, what are we seeing here? Ammo bot, ammo bot, bat bot. Again, pretty basic stuff. Avenge me! You friend! Wait, Lantern! Ah! Super GBS! Siege! Systems offline! I want to fuck around with you. There's a lot of monsters in a tent. Uh, not monsters, uh, enemies in a confined space here. Definitely the kind of situation I want to set up with a rocket launcher, so get close. Come on, you guys, give me something to work with. Move! There you go. Okay. 
Okay. No. Yes. <laughs> All of them. So, moral of the story, that's what the rocket launcher is probably for. No. Really important targets or group kills like that. Systems offline. Wait, lantern. Ah, stupid GPS. You're a bad guy. <sighs> no, not this way. A lot of laser shots to kill a mine field. Uh, stealth. Just buy myself a little bit of retreat room and let them come at me from a respectable distance. It burns. Or while keeping a respectable distance. Okay. I meant to do that. Engaging in unsolicited information management at this chart. Also, we have no clue. Hacking the terminal may cause monkeys to fly out of your, <laughs> your nose. <laughs> but we do suspect that the two terminals that look exactly the same will cause the same effect, but in the city, can anyone say poison taste? Uh, I don't have an exo that I'm willing to sacrifice for free, but for all I know, this is going to be something like loot. So let me come back to this later when I no longer need my hacking exo. It's you know, just all in case, part of my plan. when they say poison, they do mean it literally. I meant to do that! Batbot will die in two laser shots. And he's alone. Oh, that's an ammo bot behind him. Interesting. Oh, obscured by my line of sight. It's all part of my plan. For one. Okay, save your last rocket for a situation where it's needed. Avenge me! That should be all of you. What are you? Dumb bot, it's fine. Whistle. And bring out the ninja with his machine gun. Just because he has the most ammo. Oh, I don't know. Alright, let's try this door. Impassable. Fine. Science. Okay. Salt. CPU overcharger. Man, we got a lot of loot to sort through when this mission is over. What is this? Oh, another hacker. Oh, is it a Okay. Wow, so I kind of only have this one guy who can hack. I definitely want to up that number. It's kind of hard to have my entire mission relying on just one point of failure. Are you ammo bot? Okay. Oh shit. There's a fuel tank in that room. I don't want that to get shot in such a confined space. I don't, I don't know for certain what the range is, but I have to assume it's big. Range four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it would be enough to nail me if I was anywhere in the room. Also, this room appears to be empty. Unless there's something hidden in that one corner, but if I try and blow up every crate, I'll be here forever. Switch to the assault mech. Okay. Where's the unknown? Unknown is north. Off we go north. Again, we've left the hack terminal unhacked. Okay, and we've got two of them, so there's the other that there's the to find out. Come at me, bros. Come at me, bros. Uh, they're just gonna keep coming, so let, let them come while I do some math. Range 3 means he can shoot me from here. Range 5 means he can shoot me from there. There's no way to get these guys out of synchrony or something. I fucked up. I went up and forgot that they can... Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Doing that, you uh, got them into range. I can escape range. It's a trap! And they can come into range. And then I can kill one, but not both of them. This would be a good time to use the rocket launcher, but I can't switch to the rocket launcher without costing myself a turn. So, I'm gonna have to open myself up to the dumb bot 
but mercifully he has questionable. Avenge me! He was able to hit. Why was I programmed to feel pain? And now would be a good time to use that shield recharger module that I found way back when. Keep out the laser. It's not like this! Science, please. Thank you. Now, we have three hacks left for this mission. I'm gonna save all those hacks for known loot and then for these terminals. And God help me if the mission objective is behind a hack door. I have to be close to the end of this mission. Stealth before going into the door. There's the end of the mission. There's three enemies. In perfect position for made. Warp pad, computer terminal. Again with that same unknown effect. And there's three of those now. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out of that room, and we're gonna attempt it. Okay. We're gonna finish off this idiot. Ouch. Now we're gonna go ahead and attempt to hack all the consoles. Because we're done with this vet level. Hack, please. What did it do? Refills exo hacking points. Yay! Max hacks. Removes all ammo from random exo weapon. Okay, that's... I thought all these would do the same thing, but that wasn't the case. I learned something every day. It's a good thing I waited until the end. That's a fuel tank. It's a good thing I waited until this room was empty. All bots in sensor range gain an extra action return. Okay, so these terminals aren't necessarily a good thing. Alright, let's blow this sucker up and get out of here. Siege. 1,000 damage. Avoiding... Self-inflicted fire or the fuel tank. Out. Clear. Back already? Scout intel just came in. Why don't you take a look and figure out where you'd like to get to next? Invigorated Dumbbot has gained a level and is now level two. Leader bot has gained a level as level two. Hide bot, ammo bot, dumb bot. Alright, so blaster bot. Jesus. Robot manufacturing level increased by three. So it sounds to me like every enemy that I was up against, yes, if you look at the right, you'll see many of these enemies have increased in level. And their ability to manufacture has increased as well. We are one day closer to the final fight. Alrighty then, um, let us take a... That was a, certainly a successful mission. No, no casualties, lots of loot. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can equip now. Out of, well actually let me just take a look at my inventory because yeah, that's a lot of new items. Plus 45 regen, produces power. Plus 2 scrap, 19% uh, attack power and ammo capacity. Let's definitely consider putting that in my assault map, which is clearly my primary. So, without knowing what these things mean or do or what aspect I'm buffing, it's kind of hard to appreciate whether these are good or bad drops. What I can appreciate is that once I understand this game better, it's going to be a great roguelike. Ooh! Okay, so I can now equip a new bot with the ability to get four hack points per mission. I don't know what virus points per mission are, though. That's a sentry turret. 10 power, 35 plus 3 damage reduction. Computer stats. What is it? Overload level.
Okay. Lots of different... Ooh, here we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, that, those things are either. Well, let's... let's. Here's what we're going to start off doing, since I don't know better. Uh, let's load up my Assault Exo. I definitely like the sound of giving him that advanced gun, and for his computer I want him to be able to hack, so... Plus four hacks, that's great. What else? Increases your attack range. That's not bad. Oh, for the laser scope. Cool. Well, he does use his lasers at range to snipe off targets, so we'll definitely pick that up. And this fits in his ammo slots. 23% attack power with shield boost and regen. That's just fantastic. Alright, light machine gun. Uh huh. Oh, I see. It doesn't do all of these at once. It does things based on what slot you put it in. So in my weapon slots, or in this case specifically my laser rifle slot, it boosts my attack power a lot. Which is cool. Grenade launcher. Increase AoE. Oh my god, if I stack these, my grenades could blow up in such a large radius. And with ammo boost, I could probably not take out groups of enemies in one shot. Cool. Okay, so by the looks of it, I'm going to end up dumping just loads of stuff onto my one XO. Which is not a bad idea now that I think about it. Well, okay, it might be a bad idea, but to me it doesn't seem like a bad idea. I am currently at a minus 46 power balance. I assume that means that I need to put get more power, so produces 48 power with some health regen is a good idea. Produces 160 power is a lot more though, so let's see what else I can put in here now. As long as my power balance remains positive. 9% to all computer stats, 10 regen, 7% shield stats, yeah why not, that sounds perfect. Propulsion systems. Power balance is still positive. Bonus to all weapon powers versus overload abilities. I have no intention of ever exploding this bot or making him die in a big burst, so yeah. Okay. So my assault bot just got outfitted very nicely uh, with anything remaining. What's available for the science bot? Because I tend to run out of hacks, and it would be nice to- Ooh! These- Unlike the friend or photo this handy sentry turrets simply identify non-friends and make them go foo in a satisfying fireball. <laughs> Do not have any of the turn and exterminate human masters alleged issues of Murtech off off offerings. Gain stat bonuses from trap skills. Got it, I can lay traps, including sentry turrets. Okay, the right guy for that job would be the ninja. Cloak, and then drop a shit ton of these. I don't know if it'll work or not, and I don't really, you know, I don't need to know yet. I'm just goofing around. So let's save Guar again, because I just did a whole bunch of customization. And uh, I believe my next mission was parts fab. What is the mission objective? Bots captured, produce an internal upgrade that worked for Exos. If we capture it back, get twice as many parts. That's not a mission objective. Damn you, sirs. How do I toggle this? Perfect. Actually, I kind of want to see that, don't I? There we go. Okay. Level is before us. My newly outfitted... Holy crap, look how much more health he has than everyone else now. Yeah, okay, upgrades definitely make or break your advancement in this game. This is cover. That is a level 2 blunderbot. Range 6, 260 health, sieged, siege weapon. Uh, you can deploy a sentry turret? I didn't realize I had that ability. Allows you to permanently recommend the enemy direct in front of you to fight for your side if you have enough virus points left. If you don't like what direction you are facing, you can use the arrow case to change 
smoothing. Note that for two turns after fire from her, she learns to stop well functioning. It's better this will work for better or worse. Cost seven. Okay, got it. So virus points let me steal an enemy bot. But I don't know if that means I get control of it or not. It might be worth figuring out. What kind of bot is this? It's a blunder bot. The fact that it's a blunder bot kind of <laughs> often gets a bit distracted. This is at least as bad as it sounds. And for seven points, I don't want to rely on him. You'll notice he has an attack of 500. I can't afford to be hit by this guy. It means I need a one-shot kill him. At 260 health, I can knock him out with a single grenade shot. And I have less rocket ammo than I do grenades, so we're going to go learn grenades to knock him out. So, whistle. Let him come straight for me. Holy crap, my grenade launcher now has the AoE of a uh, uh, rocket launcher. This is beautiful. Down. Knock out the dumb bot. We got another blunder bot. Same issues as before. Do I have a lesser way of taking him out? Range 9 laser rifle will take out one hit, and machine gun can take out the other hit, all staying out of range under optimal conditions. So. Listen. Wield my laser gun. Systems offline. That killed him in one hit. That's surprising. Must have taken damage from running through the wall. Whistle. Get the hell out of the way. The hell out of the way. What is my laser? Oh, my laser deals 302 damage. And for some reason, its range is very extended. I must have gotten a lot of good buffs on this guy. More than I even realized. And I realized a lot. Okay, given how many of them there are... I almost want to see if I can target ground with a good grenade. Hold shift to ground fire. Beautiful. I'm not limited to hitting the first target, at least with a grenade launcher. Alright, let's keep moving. Computer terminal, but we have no clue what it will do. Given that last time half the stuff it did was negative, I don't want to gamble. I'll come back when I need a need something good to happen, and I don't care what. Okay, new experiment. Uh, Mr. Ninja, drop a sentry. Okay. Whistle. Bring out the assault guy. The sentry has already. Oh no! That wasn't the sentry. The sentry got one shot off, and this guy managed to kill himself. Oh, man. Hope he doesn't take shots from me. Blunderbot is on his way, and we are just going to let him come straight at us through the mines. Not through the mines. See if he shoots my sentry. Sorry. Oh, he tried, but he fired behind him. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't try to take that guy as my ally. Small loot. Capacitor of fortification. Hey you. Asshole. Say hello to my little friend. Should've moved down first. Oh, no. You know what? If he did manage to get a shot off straight forward, it would kill me in the AoE. So I need to be a little bit more careful. Impossible, impossible, impossible to blow into bits. Let's get the hell out of the way in which case. Good thing I backed off. Switch. Kill. I could technically lure them all the way to the center, I just don't want to go all the way back. Oh! All bots and sensor gained. So it looks like once I have identified a terminal, it remains identified. So that's what they meant by poison taster. It does the same in every throughout the city. That uh, it's like drinking potions. Once you once you've done it, you know it for life. That's good. So there is definitely an incentive to end my level by trying all the untested stuff. You uh, 
Uh, let's blow up the door from range. That has thus far proved to be a good idea. No. Laser you to death. Uh, whistle. Bring them all into range. Make sure I'm facing down. I just, I, I feel like this is a good time to use an AOE weapon. Oh, you know what? They're just gonna make this really easy for me, aren't they? Nope, I'm in range. I was too close. Damn. You ran. Shut you down. All of you are dead now. That's a bat bot. Deadly kinetic burst weapon. Attack value 300. If I get hit by this, I will live. And at attack range 3, I should be able to not get hit by this. No, not this way. And that's just assuming that, yep, he occasionally can't be in the direction. Systems no taken with that one. Ah! And I still have 30 shots left thanks to my uh yeesh. Uh Ninja, please do the fusion to get through there. Uh, switch to grenade launcher. What's the farthest I can launch it? Everybody got over. Wait a second, how much damage does that deal? 324, okay. Probably not enough to blow up critical terminals and such. That's something I was worried about. That's what, just an ordinary bot? Yeah. No, it's a bat bot. Limited range. Wait, wait, wait. I'll turn it around. Okay, a couple hack doors. And then holy crap, the mother load. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Let's make them all come to me, and then we'll grenade launcher them all to death. One more Or they can fire on each other. That works. I'll finish the rest of them. Excellent. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to take two steps. Lucky that guy fired at the wall instead of at me. Okay. Cleared. Let's take a quick look at the overworld map. I have to go all the way up and then to the east. But until then, let's try all these doors out. Uh, ninja, if you will, please. Why does my ninja not have a hack? Oh, it's my science guy that has a hack ability. Yeah, it's probably just loot behind the door. Is my guess, and that's why I'm generative. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that guy coming until just now. He has an attack range of two. So switch to siege bot and actually siege bot is the bot answer here. Everybody go over. Mammoth hacker? Jesus. Might want to equip my ninja with that too so that everybody can hack. Or maybe that's overkill for hacking, I don't know. I just feel like having more small keys is always a good idea. In a game of this type. Let's just double check, make sure that I've left nothing untouched. I need to go back for that console before the game is over, because I don't have it identified yet. So... And yet another one, okay. That's a fuel tank, it will blow this up if I'm not very careful. Me. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, no! Somebody give me ammo! Thank god. I got out of... I got out of... It burns! Just in time. But since they blew up the console, I might as well blow all of them up. No! What are you? Oh my god, look at the health that thing's got. Shuts down for two turns every time it takes damage. Interesting. Very interesting. So now I should have two turns. Q. 
Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Could not have asked for that to go any better. Well, I could have. I could have kept that terminal alive somehow, but whatever. Didn't read the situation carefully enough. I can always try it next time I come across it. Uh, yeah, just kill that. Yet another unknown terminal next to a fuel tank. Systems offline. You friend. Yet another. Okay, interesting. I kind of want to whistle here, honestly. It's a lot of stuff to plow through. I would much rather they do all the work for me. Or, you know, come into the mines. That'd be nice, too. What is this? Oh, it, it is the guy that can't rely on good propulsion, so he's having a hard time moving the way he wants to. Okay. Definitely a whistle scenario. I die. Whew. Okay, this whole area is cleared out, so use my hacker. Hack the terminal and pray. What did it do? Drains all stealth points from current exit. Okay. That's not a terminal I want to encounter ever again. Don't know what this looks like, but let's go in, check the lay of the land. That's a blunderbot. If he gets a shot off on this, I'm sunk. And unfortunately, he is going to get one turn where he could have fired. <laughs> Maximize casualties. <laughs> Enemy casualties. What was I doing again? Cutting down. No chances with that tiger. Okay, I think we've cleared out this area. Hack the terminal. No, cancel. I'll do it with the expendable bomb. Train all my ammo, I'll be very upset. What do I get? Stables movement of all bots in sensor range, including enemies. Interesting. Not including enemies, only enemies. I'm not a bot, I'm an XL. Okay, that's the new path that I need to take. Uh I'm going to head to the northern console first. This one I've already checked. All bots in sensor range get an extra action in this turn. There's my friendly sentry. It's actually very nice that it stands there that long. I could definitely use sentries to make a kill box in the future. Drains all stealth points from EXO. Oh, I see. It was duplicated from before, so it's been ID'd. Excellent. Let's use the uh, information I have now gained. Keep moving. It'd be nice if they replaced the tile akin to crawl, so they had a unknown console flag of sorts, so you could visually tell which ones without having to hover the mouse. Maybe they did, and I just didn't notice. Pay more attention. Uh, no, use the hacker bots. A virus is a virus. Uh, let's back off to a respectable distance before this link. That was not respectable enough. Those guys could actually survive one turn. They'd be very dangerous. Uh, like they are now, because this is the wrong bot, and he doesn't have a stealth setting left to him. Five bucks says that this is the one time he shoots in a straight I line. I meant to do that! Nope! He did not shoot in a straight line. Gives me enough time to switch to my deadly EXO. Ouch! And X him out. Range three, range six. No, not this way. Yes, this way. What is it? To the shift to ground fire? It burns! Kill them all. Still got nine rockets, which is excellent. Yeah, man, I think I'm going to be a grenade launcher slash rocket launcher kind of guy. Trap evade. Oops, didn't mean to use his hack. 
this will be like a lot. Getting a little bit more casual with my use of points because I have already found. What the fuck? I thought that was the exit. What did he just kill? Damn it. Piece of crap just got rid of me. I died. Kill the prize, sir. Okay, what's missing? Unknown. Directly north and west of me. Okay. Let's go check out the list. Probably just a whole bunch of nothing, but... There's a blunderbot up ahead, but... I've dealt with enough misery from his kind to want to actually explore there anymore. Actually, no. This is an unexplored area of the complex. I do want to know what's going on here. Go ahead and whistle, please. corridor open for me, then I might just waltz down it. And it was in fact empty at the end. I needn't have wasted my time. This is the last corridor, and then we are probably done with the parts fab because there's no way... Well, I guess they could make it much bigger, but I don't think they did. Science Exo? Hack. These aren't hacks. You're randomly opening doors again. About the worst way to do it. Uh, who's got the welding laser? You do. Thank you. False wall. Switch. Oh no! The blunder bot actually came in range because of my first shot and I killed whatever was behind him. I actually apparently get paid for every bot I kill, so that's an interesting incentive. Damn it. I walked to a death trap and died. My best bet here is gonna be oh, walk on to all three of them. I lost my key ball, unfortunately. Um what I'm left with are significantly less powerful bots. Probably the downside to the putting all my eggs in one basket approach is when all my eggs are in, well, one basket. Uh, I've completed a large piece of the level, but clearly there's more to it. That's a tiger bot? No, it's a blunder bot. Okay, and what do we got here? Wall with some unknown, blunder bot, guarding what is probably not that important. I'm gonna go straight down and deal with this one block. Okay, he's aware of us. Coming through the glass wall. Range 6, range 9. You're the ninja? Go stealth, please. <laughs> I don't like using my siege tank as my primary, but the range on that is actually very respectable, so let me whistle for attention. Wait, which of you guys had a sentry deploy? Perfect. Deploy a fucking sentry. Right... here. Then, get to a respectable distance and whistle. He also has the cloak ability, so if things go south, I can always go off the map. Sorry. Okay, but I did put the sentry blocking my only way at him. How much health does he have? 300? Damn. Okay, Welding Wizard will take him out in one hit, but just... it's not actually blowing up. Okay. I have to shift target him because he's not an ally. Or he's an yeah, because he's an ally. This was just a dead end. Uh see if we can't get the blunderbot to blow this up for me. If it's even possible. 
So he's definitely aware of me. But he's not coming this direction. Okay, maybe I have to blow it up for him. Yes, I do. We're gonna use the same... No, if I put a sentry in the way, it'll block my way out. Siege. And because he's already raised, I don't to waste a rocket on him. God damn, please let there not be too much more to this level. What range do you have? Six? Tie? Well... Why was I programmed to feel pain? Use the ninja. Cloak if I need to. No, not this way. Is that a bat bot? This compass is effective. Definitely want to use a rocket launcher. Here. It's three enemies, one area. Ah! That was four. Quadra kill. That's the fabricator. Any chance that I need to blow this up? No, I need to not blow it up. Okay then. Uh, I see two enemies surviving. I can just live long enough to kill them both. You got a 180 power laser rifle? Use it. No! It's all part of my plan. That bat bot is just hiding wait. very well. By total mistake. You crap. He's dead. Okay, what's left? Well, well, we can figure out what's behind that door. Probably at the cost of another exo if it's an enemy, but... No, we'll use the ninja and we'll stealth. We'll make sure we don't lose anybody. Moral of the story, you open a door without being defensive, you will pay for it eventually. Oh. Welding laser. It is a fuel explosive tank. I do not need to hit today. Walking out of here. King of all creation. Well done, pilot. Right, well Nexos. done. Oh. Another one in the bag. Oh right, you get double double loot if you uh, if you were doing a parts mission, and I got double loot. So six pieces instead of three for my three exos. Hooray! Uh, new stock arrived. Manufacturer for final battle. One dumb bot. One hide bot. Okay, robot manufacturing increased by three, and several different kinds of bots have leveled up. Treadbot has apparently leveled up multiple times, but I don't get the sense... That, okay, I'm, I'm trying to follow what these level ups are. I believe it is the level of enemies that I will face in the future, meaning these early missions are by definition going to be the easiest ones I've done, and the further I go, the harder it will be. But here we go. Uh, there are a number of fab missions on the factory floor. Each one you destroy will destroy, the, reduce the level of a random final robot by one. Even better, most bots will not level up at the end of this day if you manage to win the mission by destroying every last fabricator. So factory is my Yahtzee mission. Hopefully I am powerful enough to, uh, to clear it effectively. Gonna continue to upgrade my... Uh, robots with my new parts. But honestly, at this point, I should probably stop playing for a while. So this is because uh, this is as good a stopping point as any. I will say this: the game is currently on sale by ARCEN Arson Games for I think 25% off. And uh, given how fun it is proving to play, and given the roguelike elements of it, honestly, it seems like a good buy to me. Um, also, the music is great. Arson game games in general are of decent quality. I love the little descriptions. I didn't spend as much time reading them out loud today as I have in the past, but uh, trust me when I say that they can be pretty freaking hilarious. So I can strongly recommend this game. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I have. I definitely uh, uh, hope that uh, any of you interested will uh, give it a look. Once again, the game is Bionic News. The company is ARCEN Arson Games. Uh, try it out sometime. Thank you all for watching. I will probably continue streaming this some other time. I will see you guys next time.